let's look how we can add ads to our game built in build box let's do a 3d demo okay let's launch that game okay to add add mob we go to our settings we will be testing with google play so let's create a bundle id call it test.test.test .test .test. let's call it testing add mob Next, we go to SDKs, go under Android, and add mob. For publisher ID, um, you can put your publisher ID. You can find it under your add mob account. I'm not sure what Buildbox is using it for, but it's not needed to display ads. So you can put whatever you want there. You should use test ad unit IDs provided by add mob to test ads and switch them to the actual IDs before you publish it to the Apple Store or, or Google Play Store. I will put links to AdMob testing IDs in the description below. For testing, let's use the sample AdMob app ID. Here's a list of unit IDs. So we'll get the banner ID, put it under banner ID. Get the interstitial ID, put it in there. Rewarded video, put that in. Okay, we click OK. And last thing we do, we go to mind map and take a look where we want to add the ads. So this is the start, and this is where the logo pops up. It's a fraction of a second, so you wouldn't put ads there. The start UI has the is where your initial UI pops up, so where you can start the game. So this is how our start UI looks like. So you can enable banner ad for start UI. Under game UI, that's what we see when we're playing the game. It's just a score counter here. Let's enable the banner ad. And if the game over, let's turn on interstitial ad. After that, you can export. So sometimes with BuildBox, when you are trying to export it, this message comes up. Exporting is unavailable while module has been downloaded. And usually there's a download bar here when the module has been downloaded. And there's currently no bar, but that message still displays. One of the ways to fix it, let's first save the project. Test and add mob. Close BuildBox altogether. And relaunch it. And try again. And now it works. So I don't know what's the bug with it. So let's export it, save it, and let's open it with Android Studio. To open the project in Android Studio, what I do is go import project. You go into the folder where the project was exported to, open up, and open up the Android folder inside it, and click open. It throws this error. Just click OK. It syncs the project, and it's all ready. So to test your app, you'll need an external Android device that you can run it on. I have a Samsung connected. You click run. When the app launches for the first time, there's a screen with consent to targeting advertisement pops up. So if you click yes to all, play. There we have the test end. And once the game's over, we have other app pop up. Game over. Start again. There's a banner ad. And there's the other app. If you have any questions, write comments below. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe for more new videos. <laughs>